Alright, so what I've been wanting to try to do here lately, um, I've been procrastin procrastinating my way through this um, for quite a time now because I've been trying, to, <laughs> been trying to figure out what I wanted to do, trying to get a solid point on like how I was going to edit these, uh, the plan on demonstrating these kind of weapons and uh, what kind of weapons I'd be doing first. But uh, overall, I think I have a, a good solid um, ground on where I'm going to begin, where I'm going to end. So um, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start doing reviews on legendary weapons and unique weapons that have been released on Bob's TDMRP, um, which, have, have you, uh, as you know, uh, or if you're new to the server, um, these guns are more expensive than the regular Joe. Um, they um, have a little bit of buff, depending if it's a special legendary or just a legendary or just a unique. Um, the price of them is in the millions, so that's when you know they they're really they really pack a, pack a punch. So um, uh, the first weapon we're going to be reviewing here is the M sixty one Vulcan. All right, this is a unique. Um, uh, first of all, I'll have you know, to get a unique, you will have to have, I think, um, if I remember correctly, uh, over, what, like, 15 million, or 20 million, or 25 million, one of those three, I think, I'm pretty sure it's 25 mil, I'll be honest with you, um, but after you get your first unique, your second unique, and onwards, it'll be 40 million, alright? So just to keep a little bit of balancing so that people don't constantly have uniques left and right. Um, and it just adds a, a bit more of a goal for people to, to aim for. All right? um, but uh, this is the Vulcan. All right? It starts off with 150, um, 150 bullets uh, with .50 Magnum rounds. Um, and the ammo cost is just 0 0.75. So it's pretty nice, pretty efficient. Um, now the thing is about this gun is, of course, it has it's a light machine gun, so it's going to be heavy, all right? Um, the DPS, as you can see, is is probably one of the best DPS guns in the game, um, racking up to 2,333 DPS, 70 bullets, um, or 70 70 damage per bullet, and this thing shoots really really fast. So um, I'll give an example of how the gun shoots here with these zombies. So. Stone Cold Stun, you bitch. Um, so as you see, um, this gun is very powerful. Um, it packs a huge kick. The recoil is uh, quite out there. It, it's really annoying, um, but it's a gun that's mainly reliable on its bipod that it has. So the combination is, you know, you 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 round up your gun. And then you just get on your bipod, and it's mainly used for like heavier people, like the big cheese, the sweeper, um, armored unit. It's it's mainly used for for units like or for classes like that, just a heavier class based. Um, I would say this gun would be more of a defensive type weapon, not an uh, an assault type weapon, because of simply because of the bipod. Like the recoil is just something that's not quite reliable, but the damage is amazing. So if you do have like a higher DPI, I guess you could, you know, resist from the knock up and knock down from the weapon. Um, sorry if you hear thunder and lightning. It's 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 hailing over here, basically. Thor's troubling among us. So um yeah. Um, overall there is a trick that I have learned though too. Um is since the spin up time on this gun is like 10 times longer than any other gun um what i do personally it, to make it easier i'm pretty sure everybody else does uh, those who have had the vulcan is you would do this
So you have your gun, all right? You spun it up. It's fully spun up. So let's say there's like a couple people around this corner. You don't. You they're they're gonna rush you here any minute now. Um, but you don't have enough time to sit there and, and spin up your weapon because they'll just kill you instantly. So what you do is you just sit there and you spray them down. That's that's what you do. It's instant spin up and it gives you faster mobility. Um, and then when you need to, just pop up, yank it out, and just spray them down. That's that's basically the the strategy. That's the combo wombo, or the wombo combo for this gun. All right. Um, it's really good. Um, I have not traded it away because I find it really reliable when defending for um, like uh, armories. Um, it is good for assaulting if you do the combo, but overall, like I think this is mostly a defensive weapon. Um, it is a hassle when you run out of ammo. It takes a while to reload, of course, because it's a light machine gun. Um, but overall, I think this gun is quite amazing. Um, and it does do damage when uh, when it needs to. So, yeah. Um, I'll give this gun a fucking... I'll give this gun a 9 out, nine out of 10 bananas. All right, how about that? Yeah, we'll just slap that right on there. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um... Next review will most likely be for the Jade Stone, so stay tuned for that. Uh, goodbye.